What's up, guys? It's Jordan. I am back again for another Retro Toy Review. And this week, I'm looking at Street Sharks Jab from Mattel's 30th Anniversary re-release. It's the second one that we're looking at in the series. Let's take a look. Okay, guys. So, like I said, today we are taking a look at Mattel's 1994. This is the 30th Anniversary re-release for 2024. It is Jab from Street Sharks. Okay, now, Street Sharks is... Kind of a Turtles knockoff that came out after Turtles. It had around 65 episodes. Uh, it ran, um, I think, on in repeats and stuff from around 94 to maybe 97. Um, it had a few different toy lines um, that came out in that period of time. Um, these are, as far as the re-release figures and stuff, uh, kind of medium in terms of pricey. They're not up there with the NECAs where they're not going to be 70, 80 bucks a pop. But they are, you know, higher than a McFarlane where these are going to be in the 40 to 50 range. Now, if you wait for them on sale like I do, you can snag these guys for around 35 to 40, which makes it seem a lot better. Um, what I will say, though, and we'll get into it when we get into the unboxing, that they are um, a heavier, higher quality uh, plastic and material uh, than some of the other figures. And they do tend to have, so far from what we've seen, um, uh, a, a, a pretty high quality paint job uh, and are made quite well. So that does also help with uh, the cost. I know we've all been there and we bought figures and, and they've been pricey and then the paint's not perfect or, or you know, they're stiff or they don't, something snaps off real quick. So um, these definitely are, have a robust build, which uh, um, I appreciate. So without further ado, let's get into that. All right, so okay. and they come in villains and the heroes of the line all come in these shark cages and you can keep the shark cages as well. I would, and if you're going to resell any of the figures, I would definitely keep them. And they are also made out of um, a decent quality plastic the cage. Now, the one thing with the cage that I think they could have improved on is the cage doesn't actually have a door that opens. You just take the figure out to the bottom, which is fine, but it would be uh, better if this had a flat base and then, you know, the door popped open. There we go. And he's got, what am I missing here? Oh, his arms. He's tied up here. Now, he has two features. The last guy we looked at was Streaks. And Streaks, who can make a cameo appearance because he's on the desk right here. Streaks' big feature was he had uh, all the rollerblades and he had um, uh, the hands that swapped out for the claws. Now, Jab is a little different. No roller blades. Okay, we'll get him here. But, he does have this action. So he's got the Jab smashing motion, and that's just from pulling his arm back. And it's only the one arm. And this arm is equipped where it could hold a weapon. It doesn't come with a weapon or anything. Again, uh, real feel material okay so it has that softer material and then it features of course the biting and this time it's the lower jaw which i think is actually nice that they articulate different ways i think that's a nice way that they differentiate from each other with the figures uh is that the the mouths are articulated differently um i like this one with the lower jaw better because it makes the abs flex when you get in there i think that looks good also why it's nicer that it has a softer rubber is that you get that effect you can see the muscles moving um definitely made for play these are all thick joints everything is done really well so again another one i'm pretty impressed with in terms of figures the paint job you can see really nice clean the details are all there 
um, the real feel skin all over the body is always appreciated another really solid one I'm so far I'm really enjoying this line and I'm definitely going to continue uh, to do some more reviews and grab a couple more of these uh, before they're gone so there you go if you know anyone in their 40s who's a nerd you're looking for a Christmas gift something to put on their desk these are pretty solid bet that they're going to be stoked with these all right so there's the review for jabs for jab we'll see you guys shortly here uh for some more stuff we're going to be dipping into a bunch of uh rewind or re-released ninja turtles from playmates uh, i'm excited about that and we will see those soon like subscribe share please all the rest of it uh i'm jordan and uh thanks for joining me and we'll see you again on another retro toy review Bye bye